What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the Hangout Spot, where you already know it's real talk, boxing talk, live from my man cave. It's your boy, Johnny, and let's talk boxing today because I have a very, very special guest. This young man is making his professional debut in a couple of weeks, November 1st, at Caribbean Royale, Orlando. He is currently going to be fighting at Super Bantamweight. He's 22 years old. He was born in Orlando, Florida. But he uh, he was raised in Kissimmee, Florida, and actually he is he actually trains out of El Rancho Boxing in Kissimmee, Florida. He had an amateur record of twenty one and seven, and again he is now going to be fighting his first pro fight under the undisputed promotions banner. And of course, as you know, that promotional banner is like family to me. So without further ado, I want to bring in. My man, Xavion Primetime Mitchell, little bro. How you? How are you doing? And welcome to the Hangout Spot, man. Man, thank you for having me, man. Uh, it's honestly a blessing to just be here, you know, and uh, be able to soak in all these opportunities, man. You know, what I'm saying, I finally shows all the hard work is paying off. No, absolutely, man. I'm and I'm excited for you, man. I'm excited for you. In a couple more weeks, November first, man, it's go. It's prime time. It's not go time. It's prime time, man. Sure. How does it feel? How does it feel a couple weeks out, right before uh, your pro debut? Uh, man, camp has been going good, man. You know, we had a couple hiccups, but you know, it ain't nothing, man. It ain't nothing that uh, you know, life be throwing punches at you. So you know, you just gotta adjust, just like a boxing match. You just, you gotta adjust to the things that happen in life, and uh, you gotta keep going, man. You just can't dwell on too much. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely, man. And um, and before we get into your opponent, let's uh, let's kind of take it back a little bit. You know, let's take it back to where the journey started, right? Um, obviously, you were you were you were born in Orlando, like I said, and you were raised in Kissimmee, and you train out of there now. But uh, what what when did you start boxing? Like, what inspired you to start boxing? Did you start fighting at a young age? Did you pick it up later on as a teenager? Well, um, I actually, my dad. I told my dad that I wanted to fight. I was like 12 years old, 13. And my dad brought me to the gym uh, with my coach, my current coach now. Um, and um, when I first went to the gym, you know, I was like, yo, I want to fight. I want to do this. I want to do that. You know, I had all these aspirations. And I didn't really understand, you know, that, you know, all these aspirations that you really want come with a lot of hard work. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was telling me, you know, man, you rushing the process, man. You don't know what you're doing, man. And, you know, at the time, you know, I didn't really know. I thought I was, I was big headed, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't really paying attention to what them guys was talking about, you know what I'm saying? And um, I ended up leaving the gym because, you know, friction on friction. And uh, I wasn't really understanding what they were really trying to teach me, you know what I'm saying? What they what they really had going for me. But, um, you know, after a while, um, I had, I had went to, I had went to, I had switched to sport wrestling and uh, I had went on and I had wrestled for a while. I went to college for it. Um, and over the years, you know, I still box. I still box over the years, you know what I'm saying? But then um, when I had got to college, I, did, I had made some uh, some bad decisions. So those decisions let me get kicked out of college, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, not today. I really don't regret those decisions I made because I'm standing right where I wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing right exactly where I wanted to be. Um, you know, and now I, I am a very coachable boxer, you know what I'm saying? I listen to my coaches. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> I study. I study the game film that they uh they asked me to study. You know what I'm saying? I got an assignment tonight after we get off. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my coach put me on something. So, you know, it's just it's just um it's just a blessing that I was actually able to you know make something I had went to sleep on and dreamed about a reality. You know what I'm saying? Uh, kind of taught me that you could really be anything in life that you want to be as long as you put your mind to it. You know what I'm saying? And that's the same thing I'm trying to teach my son. No, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Listen, everything happens for a reason, man. Right. And, you know, in life, there's a lot of trials and tribulations, man. Right. You know, something right. you take the good with the bad. But, you know, at the end of the day, I admire you because you learn from those mistakes, Correct. you know, and 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 you I've, I've, I've spoken to a, a lot of younger fighters, right, up and coming fighters. And they say the same thing. Usually when they're young, they're bullheaded. They don't want to listen. But, you know, at the end of the day, they realize, you know, that it's, it's a process and it's in their best interest to listen because that's how you're going to grow, because boxing is not just physical. I mean, it's mental, right? right. I mean, boxing is, is mostly mental. Definitely. You know? honestly, I, I really think, honestly, man, if you if you grind like you're supposed to and you do everything that you're supposed to do, um, boxing can be easy. You know what I'm saying? You know, the mental, the most mental part about it is just understanding that 
you the guy you say you want to be you have to go through these things to be the guy you say you want to be you know what i'm saying you can't just think that one day you're gonna wake up and things is gonna change and you know everything's gonna pop out in front of you and it's just gonna happen for you like that it's not because it's only gonna happen for if you make it happen for yourself absolutely absolutely and um you know something that you said there that uh that that i wanted to touch on so you wrestled a little bit yeah. So you have a little bit of Terrence Crawford in you, right? Because Terrence Crawford used to uh, used to wrestled, wrestle. Uh, I wrestled uh, three hundred plus matches throughout my high school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I uh, I uh, I lost at state. I went to state three times. I lost. Didn't really dwell on it. I was real close to meddling t- twice, but you know, those things turn me into the champion I'm gonna be. That's what's up. I love the confidence, man. Again, you know, and um, it's no secret. It's no secret that you're competitive, obviously. You know, uh, uh, competing in wrestling. I mean, that's that's no joke. But um, so what age like what age did you did you say this is probably what I want to do? I want to box. Um, so I remember one day um, I think I was 18 years old, actually. You know, I had been boxing. I had a I had a little bit under my belt, but, you know, doing stupid stuff, you know, not really. in. I remember. uh before my dad, he's in prison right now, but um, before he went to prison, I remember uh, I got kicked out of college and I came home and I didn't really tell nobody but my grandmother I got kicked out and my grandmother leaked it to my dad. So I met my dad somewhere because we wasn't really like cool and tight like that. And my dad asked me like, what are you going to do with your life? What are you going to be? You know what I'm saying? And I told him, I said, I'm going to be a boxer. And to be honest, he laughed at me. He said, you're going to be a boxer. I said, yeah. I said, I'm going, I'm going to tighten my life up. I'm going to stop smoking, stop drinking. And, uh, you know, I went through a lot of trial and tribulation with it, even, you know, in my past couple of years, you know what I'm saying? But I told him that, you know, this is what I was going to be and this is what I wanted to be. And nobody was going to take it from me. The only person that could take it from me was me. So. That's you know, what's up, man. Well, I appreciate you staying focused, man. Um, did you, did you, um, did you fight a lot in school? Were you that kid that liked to thump a lot in school? To be honest, man, I didn't really hit a growth spurt till I was like in 10th grade. So like I really kinda like um I kinda I kinda was on the bottom, man. I kinda was the one getting beat up, if you want me to be honest. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> man, like I kinda was the kid, like just to be honest, man, I kinda was scared of I was scared of a lot of people. I was I didn't really know, like I didn't I I thought I was some big old badass, but you know, I, I wasn't that. I I was I was bad. I was bad, but um, I would get picked on by a lot of kids. I went to a predominantly like white school, like when I was uh, in Orlando, and uh, this is before I, like I went there my ninth grade year. You know what I'm saying? But uh, when I came back my tenth grade year, I got around. You know, I went to a predominantly black school, and uh, and that's when I kind of figured out like you know I had to start fending for myself and uh, defending myself. So that's kind of when I started like really really buckling down and uh. You know, I didn't really, I didn't really fight too much. I, I tried to stay out of trouble as much as possible because, you know, like I said, I wrestled, and um, I did a couple other sports as well. So, you know, I kind of just tried to stay, tried to stay in the memo. But sometimes I would get picked on, bro, and like, you know, it kind of, it kind of, it, it made me who I am today. Mm, I hear that. I hear that. And I am here with professional boxer Xavier Primetime Mitchell, who makes his professional debut November first at Caribbean Royale. You also have a brother who's a professional boxer as well, right? And Travis uh, Ingram. Correct, correct. Super yeah. welterweight, man. Good dude, man. How, what's your relationship with him? Uh, man, it's really good, man. Um, but our relationship is really good, man. We talk all the time. Uh, like, even sometimes, you know, I don't even get to speak to him during the day because, he, be, you know, he be doing his own thing. He be training. But, uh, like, in the wee hours of the night, like, sometimes before I go to work, like, I go to work at uh, 5 o'clock in the morning sometimes. And uh, I'll call him at like three and, you know, we'll sit on the phone for an hour, two hours. We'll talk it up. Like we may not speak for five, six days, but then we chop it up for about an hour, two hours. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, he really inspired me, man. Uh, once I really got with him and I got really close to the gym, like, and I knew that this is really what I wanted to do. Like he had always been there for me. He had always gave me advice. You know what I'm saying? He had always, uh, he always put his best foot forward and he never done me wrong. You know what I'm saying? He always, he always made opportunity for me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I really appreciate him for that. I really no, do. He's a great guy. I mean, I covered him in his last fight, knockout victory. And I actually did a quick interview with him after in the locker room at Caribbean Royale. And uh, no, he's a great guy. And for my viewers, if you don't know who 
and Travius Ingram is. You better check him out. He's an undefeated super welterweight prospect with a lot of potential. Uh, but that is a that is an excellent person to have in your corner, um, not only as a role model, but for moral support, because he's 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 going through the grind with you. Correct. You know, so that's that's always going to be a good thing to surround yourself with really, really good people right. um, outside of the ring. But um, so tell me, how did you um, how did you get um, hooked up with Undisputed Promotions? And shout out to my boy, Anthony Arvello, man, promoter, head promoter for Undisputed Promotions. How did you get hooked up with them? Um, well, it kind of sucks to say this, but uh, I was, uh, you know, I don't I don't mean to take credit for anything. But, you know, in boxing, the box is the product, not the coaches. You know what I'm saying? Um, the team I was previously with, you know, they, I, I think they reached out to him and then um. After after he reached out to him the first time, I had went to uh I think there was a July sixth fight or July twentieth. I went out there and I chopped it up with him. Actually, I was chopping up with Box Lab too. Box Lab was chopping up with me as well. Shout and, out to Box Lab, man. They're family. They're family yeah. to me too. Those are my boxing family. Both of those promotion companies. Well, definitely, I was chopping it up with Box Lab in the little uh, restaurant, you know, in the crib where that everybody goes to. After I was chopping it up with them, and um, then I had chopped it up with Anthony. I had to, and he was just telling me like, well, you know, um, I got I got some stuff I could do for you towards the end of the year, you know what I'm saying? So I was kind of like, you know, he was like just telling me just be on your grind, stay ready, and uh, when I give you that call, you know, I'm gonna give you the green light, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, it's a big shout out to Undisputed Promotions, man. You know, um, helping them promote me and uh, you know, putting their best foot forward as well, you know what I'm saying? Just you know, giving me these opportunities to really show the show the world who I really am, you know what I'm saying? And uh, and the goals I want to achieve. You're in good hands, man. You just got to do your part, man. Stay working, you know, work hard. And and I seen you. I mean, you you sent me videos and stuff. I mean, you you grind, you grind in there. And you just gotta you just gotta keep focused. You're headed in the right direction. Um. So, November first, you're fighting a tough guy. I believe his name is Jose Fernandez, right? Correct. He's from Venezuela. Correct. A little bit bigger than you, but right now, what's your height? Uh, I'm like five eight and a half, five nine. Five eight and a half, which is good height, you know, for for a guy who's going to be fighting at what one twenty two, I believe this fight is. Yeah, one twenty two. Super bantam, right? But you also told me that you can you can go down to bantam, right yeah. at one fifteen. One fifteen. Yep. If the stretch if the stretch is right, you know what I'm saying, and, and the paperwork is looking good, you know, we do anything. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. If it makes sense, if it makes sense, you know what I'm saying. We 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 make anything happen if it makes sense. So is there any particular reason why you guys chose uh, Jose as your first opponent? Um, actually, if you want me to be honest, um, it wasn't no real reason that we actually chose chose him. You know, um, shout out to his team and, you know, his his corner, you know, Corey Marksman and uh, his father, you know what I'm saying, doing a great job. I actually used to be in that stable with them. You know what I'm saying? I used to train with them every morning. And um, they got something really good going over there. So shout out to them. But, um, you know, um, it wasn't no particular reason that we really chose him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the fight really just made sense, you know what I'm saying? It made sense, and um, you know, um, it made sense to it was going. It, it looks good on the resume, so hmm. you know, we plan on going out there to handle business, you know what I'm saying? And, um, absolutely. No, absolutely, absolutely. Um, what do we expect to see in that fight? Um, I I can't promise nothing. I just know that. I'm going to put on a performance in my lifetime, and uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to stay focused, stay on the game plan. I'm not doing nothing off script. You know what I'm saying? If something happens, it happens. But I'm just I'm going in there to be a smart, technical person like I like I trained to be. You know what I'm saying? I've seen some of your videos. You're more of a technical, right? Boxer, puncher. Correct. Type fighter. Um, but stylistically, right? So let's say I was telling a fight fan about you that's never seen you fight. Right. Who who would you say that I can compare you to? Like prime time, if you see him fight, he reminds me of this fighter. So who um, would you say you compare yourself to stylistically? Well, you know, um, growing up, I watched a lot of Adrian Brown. I watched a lot of Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? Those two guys are the guys I paid attention to the most. I kind of like how uh, Adrian Brown, he's real arrogant. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't really let too many people knock off the arrogancy. You know what I'm saying? No matter what happened throughout the wins or throughout the losses, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, he was really fast at the hands, you know what I'm saying? He really, he really will, he really will do his thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, Floyd Mayweather, I really pay attention to Floyd Mayweather. I, I, I favor the shoulder roll 
And uh, sometimes I favor it a little too much, but you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we got a, that we got a different game plan for them. So, you know what I'm saying? We can't we can't say too much online, but for you know sure. what I'm November first, just know we there for sure. For sure, for sure. So um well I always thought that Adrian Broner was really good for boxing. Right. Boxing needs those type of personalities. Do, do you have that type of personality? Can you kind of be I am not there I, a little I, I really do. I, I'm not gonna lie, I do. But you know, <laughs> this fight, it's not about um it's not about me being arrogant. You know, on the other side, I gotta handle this fight like it's business. Only because um, you know, I know these people personally, you know what I'm saying? And after this fight, you know what I'm saying, I want to show mad respect to them regardless of the results of the fight, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, you never know what, what you need in the future. And, you know, you don't want to lay something out that's really personal when it's all just business, you know what I'm saying? Everything's business, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing really personal at all, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't really care to, you know, make anybody look like a fool or make myself look like a fool, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going out there to handle business. And, um, you know, I respect them, utmost respect for them. That's what's up. No, that that that, that makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. You got the right attitude going into your first fight, fight because. But you know, leading leading after this fight, though, if we don't know these people, <laughs> oh, definitely, you know, you know that, you know that. But I love it. <laughs> you know, you have to you have to show respect where respect is shown. You know what I'm saying? They have never done they have never done me wrong. You know what I'm saying? They've always been in my corner. And you know what I'm saying? It's it's. It's how the matchup happened, you know what I'm saying? It's just what well, it's business. It made sense, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna handle it how how we have to handle it. But you know, if we get a guy from Mexico, we get a guy from somewhere that's out the blue, you know what I'm saying? Oh, definitely. He's gonna get he's gonna get the y'all are gonna get the full effect of what's really going on. Most definitely <laughs> the full effect of what's going on. I love it, man. I love it. I love it. So um, <clears throat> you mentioned those two guys as, as, you know, two guys that you inspired, you know, that inspired you, right? Because um, I kind of put Adrian Broner in that former class, man. Like, I don't even want to see him fight anymore. He's one of my favorite fighters. Yeah, don't yeah. get me wrong, but it's about that time that maybe he thinks about hanging it up. Floyd, obviously, you know, he's retired and he does exhibitions. Uh, but today, out of today's group of fighters, who do you like to watch? Who are some of your favorite fighters to see today? Um. I like Raymond Ford. I like Raymond Ford. You know what I'm saying? Raymond Ford is that's my guy. I like him. Uh he's a good fighter. He's a tough guy. I like I like how he won his first world title. My I like him too. I like my, him too. My, my parlay <laughs> hit big that night. My parlay <laughs> hit big that night. You hear me? But it wasn't yeah. even I, I I I like the way he um I like the way he came and he just fought back. He bit on his mouthpiece, you know, during those tough times. And you know what I'm saying? And that's what boxing is about. You know what I'm he's saying? Got, he's got dog in him. Real dog. Yeah. And you Real need dog. that. You know what I'm saying? Real dog. Real dog. He's got real dog in him. Another guy I like, um, I like Tank, you know what I'm saying? But you know, Tank, I feel like he's one of a kind. You know what I'm saying? He 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 does his own thing, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't if I can't speak on what he does, but you know, he I feel like he gets hit a bit much, you know what I'm saying? Uh he gets hit up, he gets he he takes a lot of hits, he takes a lot of damage, you know what I'm saying? And that's stuff I wanna refrain from. You know, I don't, I like to, I like the sweet science in boxing. I like to hit and not get hit. You know what I'm saying? Take as much minimal, minimal hits as possible and, uh, you know, give myself more life in the sport. You know, like I said, I got a son. So, you know, it's not really just about me. You know, I can only box for so long. Mm, I like it. No, I love it. And and I love the sweet science as well. Um, tell us about your son. How old is your son? <laughs> My son, he's one years old. His name is Jordan. Uh, that's what's up, man. Congrats, man. That's right. So now there's a purpose, man. Yeah, definitely. Is, he, yeah. is is the is the wife gonna bring him to the first fight? Uh, the wife that was a baby mama type thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Um, I really don't know. Um, you know, I'm trying to convince her um to bring him, but you know, I hope she does. You know, what I'm saying and will that you know, um, and she sees that you know, you know, I'm I'm only human, man. I make some mistakes, but you know, what I'm saying uh, doesn't mean you know um. You know, things can't be changed around and, you know, things can't be different in life. You know what I'm saying? You know Absolutely. What I'm, saying? I'm a young yeah, man. Yeah. I'm a young man who, you know, I, I'm not scared to say I made some mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Some things I'm not proud of. We but, all do. Uh, yep. But I know that uh, as of today, you know, on today's day, October 15th, uh, I definitely got my head on my shoulders. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely, I'm definitely walking towards everything that I wanted in life. So, you know, I'm not going to let this opportunity slip at all. Hmm. No, and if, I gotta, and if I gotta walk towards it, most definitely will. 
You know what I'm saying? Do anything. For sure, for sure, man. Um, the reason why I asked you that too is because your brother, after his victory, you know, he brought his baby into the ring. You know, we'll we'll see. We'll talk to her about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I hope so, like man. It'd be nice for you, man. Hopefully, it works out. Me too. You know, I hope it does too. What are you uh, so outside of boxing, man? What are your hobbies? What do you like to do outside of boxing? Uh, outside of boxing, man. Actually, it's kind of crazy. Uh, but I like the roller skate, dog. I like the roller skate. Um, mm, okay. Yeah, like I've been in the roller skating since I was a kid, man. And uh, my grandma, she always made sure I had the tip top skates. So you know, um, I had fell off a bit trying to find myself. But you know, like recently back this year, you know, I started uh I started just doing things that, uh, you know, because, you know, I, I recently, I'm not going to lie, like, I was I was drinking a lot, I was smoking a lot, you know what I'm saying? And it's no secret, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't have to hide it from nobody, but I'm clean, you know what I'm saying? I'm very clean now. And, um, Good. um, you know, like, I was, I replaced those substances with things that I like to do with my life, you know what I'm saying? Um, like, I'm starting to get into, like, you know, guns and, like, shooting range and stuff like that. And um, I like the roller skate, and, you know, I like the fish as well. Yeah, well, there's plenty of that to do here in Florida. Uh, no lie. Yeah. <laughs> there's plenty of that to do here in Florida, man. But um, so going into this this fight, what do you what do you want to tell your fans, man? Um, I just want to tell my fans, uh, thank you for the support. You know, what I'm saying it's been a long way. It's a lot of stuff that you know goes on behind the scenes that a lot of people don't know about. You know what I'm saying? And I just take it on the chin. You know what I'm saying? It's not much I really can do about it. You know, but um, you know. That makes the coat that I wear this day today, you know what I'm saying? So um, I just want to let them know that uh, I'm going to put on the best performance I can, the best, really the best performance of a life, performance of a lifetime, like I told you, you know. Um, I'm ready to show the world what primetime is really about and uh, what I represent, you know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. know, uh, my mom, this is actually the first time my family's actually ever seen me fight in my life, you know what I'm saying? They've never, nobody's ever came to an amateur fight. Um, I've been doing this for a long time by myself, you know what I'm saying? Uh with little to none no support, you know what I'm saying? But I have a lot of friends, you know, I got a lot of boxes, I got a lot of boxes in the community, you know what I'm saying? That that you know, I really I work with a lot of people and uh, I made I made some great relationships along the way, you know, with this boxing and um you know, I think it's going to be a really it's going to be a really uh it's going to be a really humble night, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a humbling night just for me, you know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of showing me that like uh regardless of what anybody said about me or how they felt about me or what narrative they did throw at me, you know what I'm saying? I stayed persistent, you know what I'm saying? I stayed persistent through the hard things. And, you know, uh, I walked with God, walked me through it all, you know what I'm saying? And everything was tough, but, you know, God, he wouldn't walk me through something that he, I couldn't walk through. Mm. Oh, absolutely. Everything in life happens for a reason. And you get a chance, like like you said, to just put the past behind you and start a new chapter, you, you know, in your life, November 1st. Um, I'm I'm happy for you. You know you have me as a supporter. Um, I can't wait to be there. I'll be I'll be there at Caribbean covering. So we get a chance to chop it up there. But let my uh let my viewers and your fans know where they can follow you on social media. Uh you can follow me at Prime Times Day One. You know what I'm saying? Um I don't really I don't really uh I don't discriminate. I follow if you follow me, I follow you back. You show me support, I show you support, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not no give or take, you know what I'm saying? Even if you don't show me support, I show you support as well, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm a real humble guy. I don't, besides the boxing, you know what I'm saying? I'm a real humble guy. I uh, I understand that you got to have some type of attitude and you got to bring some type of attitude to the table, you know what I'm saying? Yep. But um, besides that, I'm a real humble guy, you know what I'm saying? I really stay in my place. I really genuinely, uh, this year, I, I told myself, like, if uh, I don't really hang out with people that aren't going where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't doing something positive with your life, if you're not, if you don't got, you know, something positive going in your life, you know what I'm saying? I really try and stay away from that because the only way you can go up is if you have positive people around you. And, um, if you if you have negative negative energy around you and bad energy around you, then it, it's not it's not it's not a good picture. You know what I'm saying? You can have all this fame, you can have all this stuff going for you, but if you're not nourishing yourself correctly, if you're not putting yourself around the right people, if you're not, you know, if you like, if you don't have a game plan with your life, you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of 10, it's not going to go so well. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was glad I knew what I wanted to do early. That may have took me a long time to get here, but I'm here now. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I'm here. here to stay. I'm here, here to now. stay, man. Um, and for my viewers, well, and, and for my viewers, if you are new to watching my videos, make sure you subscribe. 
uh, to the hangout spot. This is how we do it up here. Um, little bro, man, this was an absolute blast, man. You know, it was uh, it was an honor to have you here. I'm 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 glad, you know, that I'm gonna be a part of of this journey, right? Day one. Day one. You know, I get to be there day one. I'm your day one. Ah, for and, sure. Uh, I remember chopping it up with you. I think I chopped it up with you at the uh, yeah. July 20th and yep, yep. September 6th too as well. You know what I'm saying? At my brother fight just this past, uh, this yep. last night at the crib. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm sure we're going to chop it up this weekend as well. You know what I'm oh, saying? Absolutely, man. We'll chop it up. We'll get a pick going, man. We got to get ready, man. It's prime time, November 1st, man. Oh, November 1st. I ain't going to live it down. All right. I hear that. But uh, anyhow, for my uh, for my viewers, um, you know, I appreciate uh, the love and the support. And uh, and good luck to you, champ. Yes, sir. Knock him dead, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, All right, sir. man. Yes, sir. I appreciate you so much, man. Thank you. All right, you got it, man. So this is your boy Johnny signing out from the Hangout Spot, and I will talk to everybody soon. Peace.